Once upon a time, there was a little boy called Hugh. He was born in France. Bonjour! Over 900 years ago. When he was eight years old, his dad sent him to a nearby community of canons, people who lived a religious life, to get a religious education. Whilst here, he decided to train as a priest. He assisted in a local parish, but preferred the quiet life, so he joined a monastery and became a monk. He was very good at looking after the monastery's things, and word quickly spread to the King of England, Henry II. I have been told that you are hard-working, patient, gentle and courageous. I want you to come to England and take charge of a monastery that isn't doing very well. This is a great honour! But Hugh wasn't sure. No, thank you. I prefer to live a quiet, peaceful life in prayer. You must go, said the Bishop of Bath. You must go, said the Bishop of his old diocese. So Hugh went to England, but all was not as it seemed. The English monastery, called Witham Charterhouse, needed a lot of work. Hugh went to the king. He was clever with his words. I have not lost confidence in you, Lord King. Rather do I sympathise with you, because you have so many jobs and distractions. You are indeed very busy, but with God's help, you will complete the good work you have begun. So, with the money from the king, Hugh started building the new monastery and ensured all the people on the land had better living conditions. Many years later, Hugh was elected Bishop of Lincoln, the largest diocese in England. He was a kind and generous bishop. He improved education in schools and protected the Jewish community who was being mistreated during the reign of the new king, Richard I. Fun fact! Hugh loved animals and made friends with a wild swan who always followed him around. The swan would often eat from his hand and attacked anyone that came near him. Hugh was often depicted holding Lincoln Cathedral in his hand and a swan by his side. When an earthquake damaged Lincoln Cathedral, Hugh rebuilt it even bigger in the new Gothic style we can see today. He died shortly after in the year 1200 and is buried at Lincoln Cathedral. He was made a saint and is the patron saint of sick children, sick people, shoemakers and, of course, swans. <laughs>